India has once again strongly hit out at Pakistan after the country's caretaker Prime Minister Anwarul Haq Kakar predictably raised the Kashmir issue in his speech at the United Nations General's, uh, General Assembly. Now, during her address, the Indian representative responded, saying that Pakistan has become a habitual offender when it comes to misusing this August forum to peddle baseless and malicious propaganda against India. She also added that Pakistan has no local standards to comment on our domestic matters as a country with one of the world's worst human rights records Pakistan would do well to put its own house in order first before venturing out to put a finger at the world's largest democracy listen in thank you mr. president I take the floor to exercise my delegation's right of reply to the statement delivered earlier in the general debate by the representative of Pakistan Pakistan has become a habitual offender when it comes to misusing this August forum to peddle baseless and malicious propaganda against India. Member states of the United Nations and other multilateral organizations are well aware that Pakistan does so to deflect the international community's attention away from its own abysmal record on human rights. We reiterate that the Union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh are an integral part of India. Matters pertaining to the UTs of JNK and Ladakh are purely internal to India. Pakistan has no locus standi to comment on our domestic matters. As a country with one of the world's worst human rights records, particularly when it comes to minority and women's rights, Pakistan would do well to put its own house in order before venturing to point a finger at the world's largest democracy. A glaring example of the systemic violence against minorities in Pakistan was the large-scale brutality perpetrated against the minority Christian community in Jaranwala in Pakistan's Faisalabad district in August 2023, where a total of 19 churches were gutted and 89 Christian houses were burnt down. Similar treatment has been meted out to the Ahmadiyyas, whose places of worship have been demolished. The condition of women belonging to minority communities in Pakistan, notably Hindus, Sikhs and Christians, remains deplorable. According to a recent report published by Pakistan's own Human Rights Commission, an estimated 1,000 women from minority communities are subjected to abduction and forced conversion and marriage in Pakistan every year. Pakistan has been the home and patron to the largest number of internationally proscribed terrorist entities and individuals in the world. Instead of engaging in technical sophistry, we call upon Pakistan to take credible and verifiable action against the perpetrators of the Mumbai terror attacks, whose victims await justice even after 15 years. In order for there to be peace in South Asia, the actions that Pakistan needs to take are threefold. First, stop cross-border terrorism and shut down its infrastructure of terrorism immediately. Second, vacate Indian territories under its illegal and forcible occupation. And third, stop the grave and persistent human rights violations against the minorities in Pakistan.